Breast augmentation is one of the most common procedures I perform in my practice. It's important for me that you hear the truth as I see it. There are advantages and disadvantages to breast augmentation surgery as with any procedure in plastic surgery. The advantages to breast augmentation surgery are in one day, safely, you get to be bigger, fuller, rounder, and a little bit higher. The disadvantages all revolve around the use of an implant, whether it's saline or silicone. It's important that all patients understand that the edge of the implant can often be felt and the outline can often be seen. Secondly, capsular contracture can occur. Capsular contracture is the phenomena whereby the normal scar tissue around a breast implant starts to squeeze, making the implant feel hard. It's not really that the implant changes, but the scar tissue starts to squeeze, mimicking a hard implant. Implants can leak. There can be infection, extrusion, migration, and a change in nipple sensation. Furthermore, if you have a breast augmentation operation this year, chances are sometime in the future, in the next 5 to 20 years, you will have another operation on your breasts. There are a couple of other issues to emphasize while you are considering breast augmentation surgery. To begin, most women come out of the operating room feeling like their breast implants are too high and too large. With time, your implants will cup or drop, giving you a more natural look. That will happen over the next few weeks or months following your operation. That's particularly true after saline implants going under the muscle. It's also true to some degree using silicone implants, but not as much as with saline implants, especially when they're placed under the muscle. So again, it's important to be patient and not judge your result for some weeks to months following a breast augmentation operation. It's also important to emphasize that breast augmentation makes your breasts, your existing breasts, bigger, rounder, and fuller. Most women, in fact about 88% of women, have very significant differences between the right and left breast, between the right and left chest wall and rib cage, and hence, afterwards, you'll have differences as well. Sometimes these differences are magnified because your breasts are fuller and more projecting. That's important for you to keep in mind when considering breast augmentation surgery. Now my job as a plastic surgeon is not only to perform an excellent operation for you, but it's also to help you make very important decisions to tilt the balance in your favor. As we reviewed, our goal is to make your breasts bigger, fuller, rounder, and slightly higher, to minimize your chance of being able to feel the implant or developing a clinically significant capsular contracture, there are a number of decisions to be made. Some of these decisions include the approach, the incision that we'll make, we can place the implants above the muscle, below the muscle, we can use saline, silicone, almost unlimited sizes, different manufacturers, and together we need to go through these options, choices, and alternatives and select the best method for you. I can help you make almost all these decisions in the office. However, there are two decisions which are personal and I'd like you to think about. Number one, roughly what size would you like to be? It's impossible for us to predict exactly what your cup size will be, primarily because all bra manufacturers are different. Victoria's Secret is different from Johnson & Johnson and different from Playtex. There's really no uniformity. However, if you come in with some idea about your desired size, that will help us design your surgical approach. The second decision for you to make is to choose between silicone and saline. As you know, silicone breast implants are now available, again, for cosmetic breast augmentation. There are real differences between silicone and saline, and many of these we'll talk about in the office. Here's a few things for you to consider. There's no question about the safety of saline. If a saline implant leaks, it just deflates and you're going to know it within one or two days. Silicone implants, of course, have advantages and disadvantages. One of the big advantages to silicone implants is they tend to feel more natural. They feel a little bit more like flesh. However, the big downside to a silicone implant is you can have a silent leak. In other words, if your breast implant leaks and it is silicone, you won't know it that first day. For that reason, I emphasize to all of my patients, if you elect to have silicone breast implants, you need to be very carefully followed and monitored in the coming years to make sure that your breast implants remain intact.